You can definitely draw these even if you think you're not artistic whatsoever, I promise. Hey, I'm Becca with The Happy Ever Crafter, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five dead simple floral doodles that you can easily use in your bullet journal or honestly, wherever else you want. I catch myself doodling these exact things all over everything, so fair warning, once they're in your head, they're not gonna leave. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, the first one is by far the easiest. This one, you're just gonna draw a line. It doesn't even have to be straight. It can be slightly curved. It can be straight. If you want it to be straight, it could be extra long. It could be extra short, whatever you want. Then you're gonna draw a little pointed leaf at the top and you're gonna keep doing that on either side all the way down. I like to leave a little bit of extra space at the bottom. I just like the way that looks. That's number one, so easy. Number two is gonna be a slight variation of that. So for this one, again, you can draw whatever shape of line you want. And we're gonna come up to the top and we're gonna draw a leaf just like we did, but a little bit bigger this time, maybe a little bit more pointed. And then we're gonna just keep doing that, but this time with a little stick out first. And they're not all gonna be coming out from the exact same spot. They're all gonna be a little bit different. And on these ones, I'm even going to do like on this little stick that was a little longer, I'm actually going to bring another stick out from that one. So this one we're making a little bit bushier and just kind of go wherever it takes you, like add them wherever you want. The more random, the better. So you're just going to keep adding these until you're happy with it. You could also leave these little leaves empty if you wanted instead of painting them or painting them, um, coloring them in black. But I like the boldness of that. So that's number two. Again, really easy. For the third one, we're gonna do even bigger leaves. So this time you're gonna draw a line, again, whatever size you want. And we're gonna do a nice, long, skinny, pointed leaf at the end. And then we're gonna do a stick coming out with that same long, pointy leaf. And we're just going to keep doing those. I'm going to do one more, but again, I like leaving a little bit of space on the bottom. I think it looks a little bit more organic. You could also draw a line down the middle of each leaf. If you like the look of that, a little, little bit more detail, but I really like them plain. So there's number three. For number four, we're going to do some more, we're going to do buds instead of leaves. So this time draw your line and then you're going to come up to the top and you're going to draw a shape that looks like this sort of just like an odd oval shape. And then you're gonna come out the other side and add a little bit of an extra one peeking out the side. See how it sort of looks like a bud of a flower? So we're gonna do that and we're gonna draw more stick coming out and another bud. You could do these different sizes if you wanted or you can keep them all the same size. That's number four. And for number five, we're gonna do berries. So for this one, draw your stick. And for this one, I'm actually gonna draw an extra stick coming out the side like this. We're gonna do two branches, which you could do with any of these. So for this one, draw a rounded shape with a little stick coming out of it. And just keep doing that. And for this one, drawing more little sticks coming out of your first little sticks. I shouldn't say sticks, I should say branches but you guys get what I mean. So you're just building up random assortments and random kind of groupings of these berries. Again, the more random they are, the better, because in nature, that's how they appear. If you focus too much on making everything even, it's gonna look a little bit too perfect. There we go, berries. So we've got five different types here. Now one as a bonus is I'm gonna do kind of a mixture of all of them. So let's do a bigger branch here. And I'm gonna start with my biggest leaves. So I'm gonna do a really big one here and maybe two more of those. 
And then I'm gonna add in a few of these black ones. So draw out my stick, fill them in. Okay, then I'll add some buds. And lastly, some berries. You'll notice I'm not doing that first one because I don't want to do any of the leaves coming down that main stem. I think it would just look too busy. So I'm just combining these, the last four here. Berries are such a good space filler for any floral doodles like this. They just kind of finish things off really nicely. And there you have it, a vine combining all of them. Now, this looks a little bit busy to me. I think I would have liked it with, without the berries in this instance, or maybe without the buds, but anything you want goes with all of this. All of this is up to you. You can combine them however you like, fill up space in your journals or however else you like to use these. They look really pretty on cards as well. I hope this was helpful. Next up, I'm gonna link you to another floral doodle video that I think you're gonna like, and I'll see you over there.